hey y'all welcome back to another vlog or i guess really video with me um this is me cooking i'm about to make i'm about to attempt to make uh sorry i always have this in my hand lasagna roll-ups i saw it on tiktok and i was like oh that looks really really good um so i'm gonna make those but also while i make it i thought it'd be cool to like read a story i guess if that makes sense so i listened to this podcast and they basically like talk about relationship advice and like stuff that like people write in for like reddit and stuff um dating advice relationship advice like weird kinks that people have that who they're dating that they don't like tinder stories hen stories just all of it and i really like listening to it so i was like i wonder if my supporters here on youtube would like to listen to some weird stories and we could give our feedback on it and really just i don't know but like me also cooking too at the same time so i hope it makes sense i hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is like a new video for me i've never done this before um but yeah like i said i hope you enjoy it so please don't forget to like subscribe and comment something positive either a question your feedback your opinion on this story or i might do more than one story but i'm going to be cooking too so it might be kind of hard for me to do all of it at once um but yeah, I thought this would be fun and be something different than me just, like, cooking. But I hope you guys are having a good week so far. It's Wednesday, February 9th. And I'm just putting some oil in the pot for the pasta. Okay, so I have the oven set at 400 to bake everything when it's done. I'm about to get the pasta noodles going. Okay. All right, so first, like I said, I got the water going for the noodles and I'm about to chop up this garlic and so garlic. You know, we love some garlic, y'all. And this onion. My husband did the grocery shopping today, so yeah, that was really, really nice of him. This is for my veggies, but I think, um, I have different color cutting boards for like, me fish vegetables fruit um so yeah but i think while i'm cutting up the onions and garlic which is gonna take me a little minute i'm gonna go ahead and let the um sausage cook and then the ground beef cook the sausage and i got ground beef i think i'm gonna go ahead and cook the ground beef first for seasonings i'm gonna be using seasoned salt pepper and Y'all, look at my slap your mama. <laughs> There's barely any in there, so it kind of sucks. But I might put some adobo in there, too. Not going to do, like, garlic powder or onion powder just because this has it in there. Plus, I'm cooking onion and garlic, so it's kind of pointless. It's definitely probably too much meat for that um, ham, but I always do that. I like, overflow a little bit. Okay, I'm put a little bit more season in. I'm done with that. Okay, let's get into the story, though while i'm chopping up the vegetables or just the garlic and the onion um okay so this is from reddit i have just discovered reddit like i honestly i heard about it but like i never used it so i really kind of didn't know it existed if you will um but they be having some like really interesting stories on here and i'm here for it i'm here for it i'm about to chop up this onion um as i tell y'all the story and then I'm gonna give y'all my feedback. This is my first time reading the story. I have not read it prior. I just kind of, I picked a story that had um, like a lot of replies. So I was like, oh, this must be juicy because a lot of people got something to say about it. Um, okay, so let's go. So the story is, is Starbucks too broke for him? So now y'all be talking about Starbucks is expensive, but it's not that expensive. So this is gonna be a very interesting story. Um, okay. This was posted a day ago. A guy has texted me multiple times over the past few months asking me to go out with him. And I finally said yes, because we're both back to college for in-person classes. We're both free this evening and also don't want to go too far away from campus. So I suggested grabbing coffee at Starbucks. He literally replied, why would I go to Starbucks? I was like, to get coffee? Question mark. He said, at Starbucks? Question mark. I said, yeah. Then he proceeded to invite me over to his place and said, and I said, why would I go to your place, LMAO? And he left me on red after typing for what felt like forever. 
yeah, like, why would I go to your spot? Like, we're not in a relationship, so for me to go out with you, I'm going to pick a public place. And y'all know, y'all seen all movies where people be like, oh, let's go. Would you like to go for a coffee one day? Like, okay, so that's the vibes that my good sis was on. Sorry, I just already interrupted the story without even finishing. I'm so confused. He texted me around eight times asking to go out with him. And when I finally said, yes, he does this. The way he reacted after I said Starbucks was just so weird. He made it seem like I was crazy. What's this sub's take on this? Because I'm genuinely so confused. So that's what she said at first. And then she has an edit. Well, she has like three updates. So like, let's just stop there. Let's go off of that. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're asking me on a date, <clears throat> here's my thing. And this is a thing that I think a lot of guys don't understand. But I do think a lot of guys are getting it more. The guys that get it, get it. And the guys that don't, don't. Females like you to show effort and apply pressure. And But what I mean by that is you have a spot picked. You got a time. I just need to be dressed and ready. And in this day and age, I'm meeting you there. So you're not picking me up from my house. Because if I don't know you, I may not want you to know where I live right away. So, you know. But, um... Yeah, so females like pressure. They like pressure to be applied. And like I said, that means... Oh, these onions are going to make me freaking tear up. That means... Um, planning the date as far as you know where you want to take me, what time I need to be there. And nine times out of ten, yeah, you're paying, my boy. So if you don't want to spend that check, then take me somewhere that's not that expensive. Um, so... Yeah, I, I, I definitely understand her saying, like, a public place, like Starbucks, like, it's something low-key, it's something you don't have to spend a lot of money at, because, like, you could just literally get me a coffee, and get yourself a coffee, and then get, like, a pastry, or really just the coffee, like, just the coffee, that's two drinks, venti size, what, we talking 10 $11, sir? Unless she does, like, customizations, but even that, the point is, the two drinks shouldn't really go above, like, $15, twelve dollars really um so yeah that is kind of weird especially now that she, now that she's saying like okay he texted me eight times which means my good sir you were kind of chasing me and you wanted me to go on a date with you so bad and then when i finally reply and say yeah let's go to starbucks a public place a place that's not really expensive for us to vibe you oh i'm sorry y'all the onion is killing me you literally acted like starbucks like why would i go there why are you texting me eight times asking me to go out with you? And I mentioned somewhere. And you're, okay, yeah. That would have been a red flag for me already. Because now, I'm just not going to text you back after you text me back. But that's just me being toxic. So, <clears throat> let's hear the first update. The first update was, I have him on Snapchat. And he just sent me a photo right now. And he's at the airport, LOL. Apparently, he's flying to the East Coast for an event. But that still doesn't make sense why he couldn't spend five minutes getting coffee but still wanted me over and when he needs to be at the airport an hour later or why he didn't tell me that he was leaving town before or even why he why he even scheduled a date when he knew he had no time especially after he said he was free to meet such an awful day for me lol <clears throat> it's giving me very much you wanted to hang out with me but you wanted me to come over to your spot because maybe you thought you were going to get some cheeks before your flight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that he's broke, sis. I just think that... Honestly, if you would have sent me that Snapchat showing me he's at the airport, I'm not replying. I'm sorry. I don't even know why you sent me that. Because why didn't you text me back? Like, why we didn't go on this date that you was basically badgering me about if you texted me eight times? Like, two. Okay. Okay. Update number two. Almost nine hours after I posted this, she's talking about her Reddit, he began to text me as if nothing happened. I confronted him and he said he wanted to see me before he left but had no time, so he decided to head to the airport. He wants to schedule a proper sit down at a restaurant after he's back. I said, I'll let you know, lol. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'll let you know. Like, we'll see if I'm free by the time you get back because never in my life... Will you blow up my phone texting me saying you want to hang out with me? And then when I finally get back to you, basically like giving you the okay. Now you're at the airport. Now you're on a flight. Now you want to sit. At a, how are we even going to sit at a proper restaurant? 
If you had to be in a, at a, at the airport in an hour. Yeah, okay. No, I'll leave him where he at. He playing games. Because I feel like this. I feel like if you, if she would have been like, okay, yeah, I'll come over to your place. You know what I'm saying? To spend, what, 20 minutes together? I don't know. If this was my cousin or my friend talking, telling me this, I would tell her to leave him where he at. Because you want to go on a date with me and get to know me in 20 minutes at a proper restaurant? Like, how is that even going to work? It seemed like he wanted a little drive-by, like a little, a little, a little cheat call before he went on his flight to an event. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm sorry, y'all. Freaking onions. Third update says the final update. Confronted him and told him I'm not into hookups and would only meet if he's looking to be friends or wants to potentially date. I told him that I don't want to waste any more time and if he doesn't want any of those things, we could just end things then and there instead of playing games. He said he's interested in me and made a reservation for lunch in the coming week. Whew. Thank you so much for your replies and help. I wouldn't have called him out and I just felt bad about it if not for all the replies. Well, I'm glad she did. I'm glad that she let him put him in his place and let him know like these are my expectations. This is what I want and that's what I think I think as women sometimes, women who are maybe aren't used to getting what they want when they speak up and speak their mind, I, and I've been known to do this like before in my past, you know, relationships, situationships, talking and dating, whatever, we don't speak up because it's like sometimes when it comes to men, it's like we'll take the bare minimum. So like if she wouldn't have put her foot down and been like, look, okay, I'll meet you at your apartment like a dummy um then he would have known like look i don't have to take her out like look like <laughs> the first day she's coming to my crib and he would have spent that little 20 30 minutes with her and left and went on his little went on to his little event but she let him know and put him in his place like look you have to show effort like this is not this is not what we're going to be doing and i like that i like that a lot i'm the people are saying the same thing i did okay so somebody said my expert sleuthing skills tells me homeboy wanted to smash and to only smash. You can't smash at Starbucks, but you can at his place, hence his suggestion. At Starbucks, you can only grab coffee to talk and get to know the other person. A prospect he wasn't thrilled about in the slightest. Silly jokes aside, if he was interested in a real date, he could have suggested an alternative that's more to his liking. It really sounds like he stopped putting any effort once it became clear you weren't in for his low maintenance. F. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, so let's find another one. That was actually kind of fun. I like talking about stuff like this. All right, so the title of this one is called, If Men Try to Be Vulnerable, Do They Come Across as Insecure? I know we all talk about normalizing vulnerability for men and how it can be an attractive trait. In my personal experience, I haven't had great luck by opening my heart out or being, I think you meant to say opening my heart up, or being vulnerable with my girl. Every time I did, they either lost respect for me and or they didn't see me again. I was made to feel judged and also weak by being vulnerable. A more recent experience is when a girl I was seeing since four dates, and we finally got touchy at my place. We were clearly both turned on and couldn't stop ourselves. 30 minutes into foreplay, I told her, hey, I'm a bit nervous because I haven't had as much sex as others in my age group, but I'm so into you, just be patient with me. She said, oh, that's okay, you're fine. But then I could totally sense her turning cold and distracted. The rest of the night wasn't the same anymore. We, all, we lost the steam and she left a little left after a bit in a very friendly fashion. She never saw me again and messaged me a few days later that there was no spark. I have had similar vulnerability episodes with my ex-girlfriend as well. Is insecurity the other side of vulnerability? What a man consider as vulnerable does the woman see that as an insecurity where is the line between vulnerability and insecurity can slash should men open their heart out and be vulnerable about their insecurities to their woman can slash should a woman do the same to a man well okay i see his point in regards to we are used to women being the more vulnerable and speaking our feelings versus men men a lot of times depending on the man they don't open up and uh 
that causes her a lot of issues in relationships and we as women are stuck saying hey i really want you to open up like he doesn't open up like i feel like i don't really know him blase squase here's my advice on that before i read the comments i feel like if she's meant for you and she's your woman you opening up is is only going to make her happy it's not going to make you look insecure and you being vulnerable is going to strengthen the relationship and strengthen the way she looks at you as a man because i for one look at my man as stronger for opening up and telling me you know deep stuff about him that no one else knows it's like that ex like being exclusive you know what i mean now here's my thing with that yeah like i said um most women feel good that their men opens up to them because now it's like like i said it's exclusive like i know my man like i know my man better than anybody else knows my man because my man opened up to me and he ain't opened up to all the other girls you know what i mean like that's usually like in my opinion that's kind of the feeling like for a man i feel and i'm not a man but for a man i feel to open up you got to be really really special and he really has to f with you and like i feel like that's a good thing um i don't know i think my problem i think his problem is that maybe i don't i don't know maybe it was a turn off for him to say that because they were in the moment of doing it and maybe it just wasn't the right time to say it also that's not his girlfriend they had only been on like a couple days you know what i mean so like i think personally that's why that was a turn off for her maybe i think maybe the mood was ruined because they were in the midst of about to do the do and he kind of just said that out of nowhere, maybe. Like, I think it would have been different if they were opening up about their childhood. And he was like, you know, um, experience with sexual things. Um, just a heads up. Like, I think that would have been fine. But I think, I think because he said in that moment, it was kind of like, okay thanks for telling me i don't really know what to do with this information i'm not maybe she didn't know what to say it it just could have been a bad time so let's just see but overall the answer to his question no i don't think that makes a man look insecure if you're into that man and if that's the person that's right for you now if that's the person that's not right for you maybe they say something and you're like oh i can't deal with this he's insecure then that's just not who you're supposed to be with and that's fine move on move to the next you build your roster there's a lot of people in this world i don't think vulnerability necessarily comes across as insecurity but i also don't see an issue with someone expressing insecurity either as long as it's done so in a healthy way if girls are judging you for stuff like your recent experience then that's on them not you i think it's always better to be genuine and honest about how you're feeling yep same thing i said i'm not a star on this i just give up the space that i paid for so i'm gonna go like love to turn up. How does your throat feel? Alright. Come on, Russ. Come here. Come here, Russ. He coming. Oh, <laughs> He's small, bro. <laughs> so, we... <laughs> We live at the school that my husband teaches, or not teaches at, coaches at, and one of the kids is afraid of dogs, so I'm dead. He's talking about something, he's huge. Y'all, my dog is a mini Aussie mix. He's small. All right, so the onions and garlic are done. I'm going to go ahead. See, so yeah, I think it's supposed to be this consistency. And I'm gonna throw, they said do Parmesan cheese and mozzarella in here and salt and pepper. So pepper, my dog is drinking water. I don't have regular salt, I have seasoned salt. I should probably use some regular salt, huh? Mozzarella cheese, she said you throw a cup in here and throw a cup on top. Okay. My husband got ragu, usually. We either do the Bertoli one or the Rao's Rails homemade sauce. But he went with this today. I'm not knocking it, y'all. I'm just saying we usually don't use, use the sauce, but for today, 
We're using ragu, chunky, tomato, garlic, on onion sauce. I really want to get into making my own uh, pasta sauce. Okay, so now that I can, I'm going to put everything in here um, as I read my story. So I think I'm going to angle the camera down so you can see me doing it. All right, so I think this is like the best angle I can kind of do right now. I'll get better at this, y'all, but this is it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the story. And while I'm going into the story, I'm going to be building the lasagna roll-ups. I'm going to go ahead and take my little ring off because I feel like this is going to get a little bit messy. But yeah. Okay, so here's the story. The title is Got Rejected by a Friend. Now she says she misses me. Hmm. The question is, is she missing the friendship or like missing you like, oh, I miss him being crushing all over me. I don't know. Okay. Met a woman last year who I clicked with on so many levels at work. All right. So y'all had to look at the uh, video again to make sure I'm doing this right. All right. So I met a woman last year who I clicked with on so many levels at work. We would hang out one on one whenever I was able to due to my busy schedule, but I would text her once or twice a week. Though it started out friendly, I started to be attracted to her. However, I learned after Thanksgiving that she already had a boyfriend. Though I tried to bury the feelings, they wouldn't go away the more we hung out. Okay. I spoke to a mutual friend about it and he gave me two options. Either ask so that I can get the rejection to help move on or remain cordial at work, but no contact outside of work. After thinking it over, I decided to just take the rejection as it's helped me get over un unrequited feelings quickly in the past. Last month, she invited myself and her friend group out to a club. However, everyone but I canceled or had other responsibilities. Leaving just the two of us, she ended up modifying our plans so that her and I could spend the whole day together. She treated me to a movie that I was looking forward to seeing, hung out at a park, grabbed lunch, and then we went clubbing. At the end of the night, I asked her out and she told me she was seeing someone. I asked her that if this made the friendship awkward, I totally understood her not wanting to continue being friends. However, she said she wanted to stay friends and we went our separate ways. Since then, I've been, I put up some boundaries for myself to help with moving on. I focused on my 2022 goals, picked up some new hobbies and hobbies and some old ones and spent some time changing my lifestyle. I don't reach out to her to chat anymore. However, since she has me on Snapchat, she's been sending me memes of favorite shows or messages me during work asking how I am. I respond cordially, but I don't make the same effort to reach out besides sending memes back. However, I woke up this morning to a message on Snapchat asking me when my next days off were and that she miss misses me, which raised alarms in my, in my mind. Sorry, y'all. I'm like, I don't know why I'm butchering this so bad. Um, where am I? Afterwards, she started asking about the new job I was going to that another mutual friend hooked me up with that I didn't tell her I got or had the interview for. When I told her I landed the job, she told me we need to go out and celebrate sometime after I start and how happy she is for me. I feel like I should trust my gut and brain. I do say I miss friends. However, I've known my friends for over a decade and don't see them as often due to living in a different city. I also set up boundaries and don't want that work to be trampled on. Should I accept the offer to hang out or reject it? So before reading the comments, of course, you know your girl has to give her two cents. Ooh, this is like spilling. This is about to be lasagna, y'all. F it. I don't even feel like rolling these up. I'm sorry, this is not like the prettiest sight, but like, I don't feel like rolling these up. I feel like just laying it, layering it and making it lasagna. Because it's just so freaking messy and like, I just, mm -hmm. I just, I'm gonna just make lasagna, y'all. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I know I said lasagna roll ups, but this is my take on lasagna, so y'all don't even come for me. Your girl is learning. Jesus. I feel like I have to say that or someone's going to be down my neck. That's not how you make that. Well, that's how I'm making it today. Okay, here's my two cents on it. Ooh, these noodles hot. I think... I don't know. That's a hard one. To hang out with somebody you like knowing that they basically... It's like she don't like him back because she's in a relationship. But I don't think she ever really said, I don't like you back. I think she just said, I'm in a relationship. And I think that's what makes it harder for this person. Because she didn't deny the feelings she has. If she has feelings for him. She just said, I'm in a relationship. Um, 
So, I don't know. I don't know. What is, I, I want y'all to comment if you're watching this and let me know like what you think. But, I don't know. Ooh, this is spilling off the side. I'm already frustrated with this. <laughs> because the rolling part, it looked easier when she did it on TikTok. And like now that I'm doing it, I'm just like, okay, this is very messy. How did you roll them so perfectly? Um, yeah, I don't know. As far as him letting his guard down in the boundaries thing, I don't know. If he's going to a different job and he really won't see her, I don't see the harm in it. But also I get the point because it's like, I've told you I like you. And basically he's saying, I can't take hanging out with you without my feelings increasing. So it's like, you with me or you're not. And if you're not, I'm not really going to be hanging out with you. I get that point. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe he should keep his guard up and just not hang out with her. Because if it's going to be too painful to be around her and, like, just hang out with her one-on-one, -on -one, I can understand that. And, yeah, I probably wouldn't want to do that either. So, sorry, oh, this little lasagna thing is about to fall. So, maybe, yeah, maybe he should, um, maybe he should just leave it where it's at. I don't know. I think, oh, shoot. I think he needs to explain to her how he's feeling. Which I think he did, though. Did he? No, he didn't. <sighs> Whew. I think he had just decided, like, look, I'm not going to do this with you. Because you don't want to F with me, and I want to F with you. Understand that, then he should definitely not go. If she understands where he's coming from, then yeah, go. But I don't think she's going to understand where he's coming from. Because I think she would have gotten the hint by now. Like, look, he's not really effing with me since I basically told him I don't want to be with him. Um, so I need to just let him be. Y'all don't come for me in the comments about this lasagna, okay? This is not even supposed to be lasagna. This is just supposed to be lasagna roll-ups. And now it has turned into me horribly making this. But I feel like it's still going to be fire. Like, I feel like it's still going to be good. I don't know. But this is my first little cooking with y'all video, which is really harder than I thought. It's hard to like read a story. And I know people do voiceovers and that's probably what I should have done, but I didn't. Next time. So people say that he should still go hang out with her and just take it as them hanging out as friends and nothing more. And if he can't do that, then he shouldn't. And I completely agree. If he can't do that, then he shouldn't go. But if he can then yeah why not if you can figure it you know figure that out then cool i mean i don't see anything that's why i said i don't see anything wrong with it if he can chill himself out and be like all right look this is just my dog we're just friends we're just homies i'm cool with that if it never goes further than this and i think that's the mindset he has to be in and i don't know I don't know if he's in that mindset. So, I say that to say, it's up to him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to think if I've ever been in that situation before. I don't think I have. Um, Because I think, I don't think I've ever had. No, I haven't. So, you put all this mozzarella on top. I can't really say what I'd do. Oh, I needed more cheese, but oh well. Dang, bro. I should have had my husband buy a bigger bag of cheese, but like, I wasn't really thinking about it at the time. This was literally a last minute thing that I'm doing. So I'm gonna put this in the oven. Sorry, I'm trying to spread out the cheese. Voila. If I was cooking for other people, of course I would be wearing gloves and you know, whatever. But I'm literally cooking for us and I wash my hands, so. Like I said, don't come for me in the comments. I'm about to put this in the oven. When this is done semi-cooking, I'm going to put it in there for like 30 minutes, maybe 45. And then when this is done semi-cooking, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the garlic bread. I'm about to make some broccoli. And yeah. So I don't know. Like I said about the last one, it's up to him. It's really if he can handle it or not. And it seems like he kind of can't. So I feel like for him, he shouldn't. 
um but let me know comment down below and let me know what you think it's, hard. it's a hard thing man if she's up for a friendship keep the keep the boundaries don't go out only the two of you i mean you can but it's not wise since you have a history sorry but that is how it will go from now on unless you speak about it in a very clear way like hey i want to keep the friendship with clear boundaries because i have or had feelings for you i hope you understand that's going out won't help and if she is single now you can expect her to say something like she is interested but if she does not then it's better to move on you will take it out after all yeah so yeah yeah okay i agree with that so but then that's kind of weird because like i don't know i don't know i just feel like it's kind of weird like why keep a guy around that you're not interested in Especially if he's told you he has feelings for you. I'm pretty sure your man won't like that. So I think she has feelings. But I think she's in a relationship right now. She might might not know if she wants to like be with a, with her friend. The guy that's writing in. So maybe she's just like, look, I'm in a relationship right now. But like the guy said, you know, if she pops up single. And she doesn't choose to kind of be with you. Or go out with you or give it a chance. Then yeah, you would have to leave. Because I feel like at the end of the day your feelings are going to be hurt. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this, if you thought it was fun or whatever, remotely interesting. Um, I kind of just needed to cook and I was like, well, let's just read some stories because I feel like it kind of be interesting, a good debate, a good talk. Um, so give me your feedback. Um, don't mind my fail at making lasagna roll-ups. I just went ahead and layered it like, like lasagna. Thanks for supporting me always. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Give me y'all feedback on these stories that I talked about. Like, what do y'all think? Um, I don't know. What would you do in these instances? Like, I'll see you guys later. And I'll, I'll, uh, if you comment and you say like, hey, like your opinion on this or what you would do, I will definitely respond because these are kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. So have a good night, you guys. Bye.